Hey there, YouTubers. All right, unboxing video time. So we've got this case, mid tower. It's the Master Box MB511 ARGB. Play it cool. And uh, so we're going to get into this. Let's uh, take a look at the box and see what kind of specs it has. And this did ship all the way to where I am in Africa. It supports uh, mini ITX, micro ATX, ATX. EATX. These expansion slots are seven. You have uh, three by one twenty millimeter fans. Three by one twenty in the top, three in the front, one in the rear. Liquid cooling. You can do in the front one twenty, one forty, two forty, two eighty, three sixty. So I actually have a two forty one here. Top 120, 240, 360, rear 120, so all kinds of cooling capabilities. Let's see, maximum graphics card length 410 millimeters, 16 inches. So let's go ahead and uh, get this open. All right, so let's go ahead and get this open. And so this has a decent amount of styrofoam on it. Um, Looks like there's a nice buffer here. You can see, hopefully, no damage except to the styrofoam, right? So we'll get this out and we'll take a look at it. So we will take out the uh, styrofoam and the plastic wrap and uh, get you guys a good look at this. All right, so here's the case. Um, looks to be in pretty good shape. A little misalignment here. I don't know if it got damaged in shipping, but. Uh, what it looks like. Let's turn the light on, folks. So, um, this would be where a 80 millimeter fan would go. You've got seven PCI expansion slots and then uh, ATX power supply. That's uh, set up to uh, take different size power supplies. You can see most likely this whole pattern is ATX. You've got tempered glass here, which did not get damaged. This has a uh, filter on a uh, basically a vented grill. So you can see you can get a radiator in there or uh, three 120 or 140 millimeter fans. And then line that up just like so. So you get an idea what that looks like. Of course these uh, unscrew. Uh, they're on there pretty tight so I can't actually do it with my hand which is surprising. Now the front of this, let's take a look at the front. These are uh, USB 3.0s, even though they're not blue. Power button in the middle. You've got your headphone jack. You have a microphone, and this should be an RGB button, I would imagine, unless it is a uh, reset switch. We'll find all that out eventually. Now the front uh, looks like there's a spot under here to pop this off. Okay, so when you do, you got to be careful because these wires are. Looks like they're connected to the front panel. And then nothing going on on this side. Let's uh, flip it over before I take off the glass. All right, so this is what it looks like from the bottom. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these. This is uh, you know, kind of a joke, to be honest with you. Um, once you put it in place, though, it should stay there for uh, the life of the computer. These are its uh, feet. You can see that and there's some venting here like I said you should be able to pull this off uh, most most computer cases the front pops off and grabbing the bottom anyways you can see some screws here looks like that's probably where the uh, hard drive is now this is a uh, interesting there's some places I'm not really impressed with the manufacturing of this case to be honest with you and uh, We'll tear into it if we don't like it. So let's go ahead and uh, take off the glass. All right, so uh, it appears that we would, you guys don't want to see my tennis shoes, unscrew these. And this one should pop off um, after we do this. We'll see, though. And it looks like these might have a retainer in there to keep them on. So let's see if we can get it to come off. There you go. And that looks like it pops into the bottom. All right, so just so you can see it, uh, big old case, huh? 
not quite big enough to be a full tower but uh, definitely is big so there's the three fans it came with I could have honestly sworn this was supposed to come with seven fans but um, at least you do get the fans in the front you can put a radiator on top which I have a I have one here that I might just use on this that tells you what uh, some of the motherboards this will take including EATX and you can see they've uh, they put quite a few of the standoffs in already for you but you will need to put the rest of them in now looks like they've hit all the cables on the back side so we'll, we'll have to take that panel off here is a uh, gigabyte interesting not really sure what that is folks um, looks like a drive would go in here and when we pull the back off there's probably a spot for a three and a half inch drive on the back so let's go ahead and flip it over all right so uh, this guy's got a lot of connectors on it there's uh, the spot there for three and a half inch drives it looks like it'll take uh, two there's two trays in here uh, plastic trays not a big fan of the plastic folks uh, it's kind of disheartening to see that now we do have a bag of hardware here they did tie it off to the frame decent amount of loops over here to uh, tie down your cables and then over here right so a crappy case won't have them over there like this one does so there are some nice features on this case overall the quality um, doesn't look that great to be honest with you but there are some nice features um, to include this nice big old opening here to uh, assemble a CPU cooler after the fact if necessary they do have the cutout up top so you can connect to your uh, CPU power connector there and uh, you know quite a few slots in here as well to help with uh, running cable so we do have a bag of hardware in here let's go ahead and get this uh, so this baggie has the usual stuff you would expect, some more standoffs, um, screws, twist ties. Now here is, uh, this would appear to be the RGB connector. So uh, you'll use SATA power off your power supply and then plug into this guy. Um, there is a button there, so I don't know if that's power, it's probably the power. But this is your addressable RGB connector. All right, so we have various connectors here, depending on the motherboard. You got Gigabyte, ASRock. Here are your standard front panel connectors to include a HDD LED power switch, power LED, and uh, I don't see a reset switch, so uh, that must have been the RGB on the front. You have a HD audio. Um, here is the uh, USB 3.0, and uh, it would appear that this one, well, this one's going to power your uh, your two USB 3.0s on the front of the case. There's an addressable RGB. So really, that's about all the connectors, folks. There's a lot of them in here, but uh, you know they are. There's another one, right? So. One of these connectors will connect to that device that I showed you earlier that will power the uh, be powered by SATA power. So um, that's about going to do it for this one, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you. A little bit of bonus coverage here. So here is uh, more detail on the parts in here. Package content. Looks like all kinds of different language. So let's see. Where do we start at? Probably with number one, right? Looks like number one's over here. Uh, this shows you how to open it, just like I did in the video. And I think we're over here to number two. This, these directions are a little confusing. Actually, there's number one, two, and then three over here. So it's showing you uh, basically how this thing's set up. Like I said, the numbering is a little confusing here. Now, do they explain anything is really the question here. There is uh, some schematics. This might help some of you out that are uh, wondering about buying this. There is uh, how the RGBs uh, basically go into a hub. Just so you can see that. 
and how you get the front off it would appear but uh, yeah there's your bonus coverage this is actually how you take the front off just like I described in the video thanks for checking the video please like please subscribe thank you